Hey there, Word Moguls. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Have you ever wanted to learn what the best editing and spell check software there is out there online today? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is. If you don't know me, my name is Peyton of Writing Income Accelerator, where I show freelance writers how to get paid top dollar for their work. Go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, comment, <laughs> and uh, all those other things. Anyhow, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm going to look at an article today. I'm going to cut paste it into two different software programs that I've used for years now. Um, and this is a pretty famous article. Okay, so this article is by Zat Rana, and he is one of the best medium writers who ever lived. Um, he got very popular and then kind of realized that medium wasn't where it's at, that you know, less than 10% uh, of people make over a hundred dollars a month. So he decided to make more money on Substack. He just brought his following and he doesn't even write on Medium anymore. That might be a good idea for you as well. But anyhow, this is great writing. Any piece of writing that has 294,000 claps and over a thousand and nineteen comments is pretty good. So I'm going to copy and paste this into two writing programs, software programs. When it looks a lot like this, this is I got a lifetime subscription to this. This is the pro version. Uh, I used to teach writing in college and high school, and I use this book a lot, Rules for Writers. You should buy this by Diana Hacker, legendary. It's like the most assigned writing guide in the planet right now. And then this is another popular one as well, Style by Joseph Williams. If you do not have these two, or you need something really quick that kind of has all this in the software, um, in a software capacity, that's what Pro Writing Aid is to me. So I use it to revise, I use it to edit, spell check mechanics, and a billion other things. You can see that it has multiple different things that it's looking at. Structure, sentence length, readability, stickiness, cliches. There's even more reports here. Hominins, alliterations, pacing, dialogue. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. And so what I love about this is the color coding. You know, you've got, what is it? Yellow for style, blue for grammar, red for spelling, and purple for passive voice. So you can see all throughout what's happening. You know, passive voice, we are addicted, um, are not addicted. So passive voice in purple. And I don't know why this spaced it out. It shouldn't be spaced out. But anyhow, that is like a real quick, cool co color coding thing, how it underlines stuff like that. And... I like how it hides the dashboard as you as you write. So that's real-time statistics. And you can get a summary where it prints out a really cool and thorough report. This one, even though it's not a super long article, this one report is 19 pages long. So if you work with clients, this is kind of cool to say, hey, you know, I, I really checked this thing. It's doing really well. Um, I, just, I just love how it is laid out. It's perfect you know you've got your big wins your key scores up here so grammar score at 87 and then uh where your document looks great and it talks about the readability rate or grade nine ninth grade sentence variety things like that so pretty common with these online spell checkers and grammar checkers but i just like how the report is thorough um so that is what it looks like you can write in real time or you can just copy and paste it out and it also has a Scrivener. If you write on Scrivener, it has Scrivener uh, connection. If you download the app, there's an app for it as well. Um, and there's a Chrome, as you can see, there's a Chrome extension for it, just like all the other ones. So I really love it. I mean, there's just so much that you can do with it. Word Explorer is one of my favorite devices ever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if a whole lot of other programs have this, but you know, where this you just click any word and you can hit Word Explorer and then it takes you to this page. And I like how, see common phrases. I mean, this is just brilliant. Collections. Um, there's one in here. Oh, examples, that's my favorite. So where the word was actually used in real books. Wow, this does a lot of the research for me. And then famous quotes. So that's, a fan, that's like my favorite tool actually, the Word Explorer. And all it is, you know, you just double click it and you, know, you click that button right there, Word Explorer. So one of many brilliant uh, things it has. 
I love the, the writing style. You can choose from casual, academic, business. I'm always doing casual because I'm writing on places like Medium and HuffPo and all that. So it's just fantastic. Do check it out. Um, and, you know, in terms of like reports, you can choose what to print out or not. And there's all kinds of other cool settings. So let me contrast with something that you're probably familiar with because it's like 10 times more popular. <laughs> but I, I will say I love the UI UX, the user interface and user experience on Grammarly. I think it's brilliant. I love it. Um, you can hide the assistant, of course, and it just looks like you're writing on Medium, okay? And they have some color coding here, but, but you could see that, okay, it says that there's like a score of 88. Well, uh, you know, this one was a score of, this one had a similar score, a grammar score of 87%. So 87 and then uh, Grammarly has 88, so it's uh, that's like performance. That's probably same as grammar score, so pretty close. But I'm not gonna split hairs here. I'll just be honest with you. Most of the features are almost exactly the same. Okay, um, they have really good Chrome extensions for both Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid. They both have uh, great apps for Mac or PC. I mean. The, the features are very, I mean, it's just very, very close. Here are some things that I like about Pro Writing Aid that Grammarly kind of, I think kind of fails on actually. All right, so a lot of people start from day dot on Google Docs, which is brilliant because it backs things up, it saves it in the cloud. That's where they start. That's what you should do. Google is, Google Docs is great for that. So there are Chrome extensions for both of these as mentioned. You can see that the one for Grammarly is in beta version, okay? It's in beta version. And it's been in beta for a long time. And it works good, it's just still kind of wonky. Uh, they're on, now per writing it has had this for a long time and it works pretty good. Uh, uh, that's one thing that I appreciated about it is that, you know, all the features that you see with the live online editor is the same on a Google Doc and it's ready to go. It's not in beta. So people that write on Google, they should love that feature. Let's look at something else. Here's where it really kind of comes together for me. We have the Grammarly Chrome extension on and medium.com article. So one of my own articles. And we're scrolling down and we're seeing, okay, so right here, maybe, yeah, improves, the reader improves. Okay, I should do a subject verb agreement. So I have, have an error right there and maybe one right here. Okay, that's about it. So that not bad, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the competitor. <laughs> we'll turn off this guy and then we'll turn on per writing aid. So this is what I love about it. I love the color coding and how it just pops. So as mentioned, blue is a grammar mistake and in yellow is a style mistake. And so I just kind of love how this is. And if you click the eye, it, you know, it kind of gives you for information, it gives you even more and a video <laughs> and then the full article. So it, it couldn't be, you know, it, it's trying to compete with this person right here, Diana Hacker, the rules for writers. So, it could be more uh, expressive and trying to help you and or it just gives you you know just slap that in you know press that replaces it and you're good or you can ignore it but i, I do love the color coding it is so useful it's super duper useful and you just instantly see what's wrong with it the red the green you know the blue that's what i love about it um and you know, you can turn this off while you're writing on Medium if you start on Medium and then turn it on when you're ready to revise and edit. So that's one feature that I absolutely adore. So, so let me show you what the app looks like. So Mac and PC, you can download this. Uh, you know, you import a document and it, it basically looks like the online, <laughs> the online version. So it's pretty cool. So if you're a book writer, you know, it lays out like a book, it, it's pretty great. So it's very it's similar to gram Grammarly. Like I said, I, I do love the, the UI and the UX of Grammarly a lot, but here's the deal. So at, you know, totally honest, it has 
pretty much the same features. Okay, pretty much the same features. Here's the big difference. And this has been for a long time. The price difference is about $70 between the two. Basically, Pro Writing Aid is just as good as Grammarly, if not better, and it costs $70 less. This has been the same for quite a while. Will the price go up and down? Probably. So I'm not gonna put the price on. But what I would do is I'd check it out. There's a free trial, or you can uh, just sign up for it because you need it. So that's my official recommendation. I would try out Pro Writing Aid. I think it's fantastic. It, you'll, you'll save money monthly, quarterly, yearly. You can even buy a lifetime subscription like I did. It's fantastic. I, I love it and I use it every day when I write and, and revise. That is my highest recommendation. And if you're interested, you can go to writingincomeaccelerate.com stroke pro writing aid, all one word. And you will see my page for it. I'm an affiliate for them. Click that link and it will take you to the site and it'll show you basically what I just kind of explained here. And this is for people who really want to get detailed analysis of their writing. So it's great when you have beta readers, definitely keep using your beta readers. But before you give that to them, you want to do this. So if you're ready to step up to a professional grade writing tool, one that I recommend as a former writing educator, then do it. Do yourself a favor, get pro writing aid. You, you won't regret it. It'll help you improve your writing. It's great for all types of writers, whether you're writing fiction, nonfiction, books or articles, ESL, college, high school. I mean, it's fantastic. And like I said, it is very comprehensive on the way it gives you information. And it has all these really cool tools like Word Explorer, which is my favorite. So do check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please make a comment if you have any uh, questions about this. But subscribe, like, turn on the bell for the next video of free value. And I will see you next time, Word Moguls.